Today marks an important milestone for me as Justice Minister as the new domestic abuse offence comes into force. It will make a real and tangible difference to those who are affected by a range of abusive behaviours and I want to thank the many victims that I have met who shared their harrowing stories with me and whose experiences have helped to shape this legislation. The protection that is now offered to victims of domestic abuse is no longer limited to only physical abuse. This legislation means that non-physical abuse, behaviour that is controlling or coercive in nature, is now a crime. Anyone can be a victim of domestic abuse and anyone can be a perpetrator, regardless of age, gender, sexual orientation, disability, ethnicity, background or race. Today marks an important step in giving all victims the confidence to share their story, to know they will be listened to, that they have nothing to be ashamed of and to know that the justice system has their back. I want to pay tribute to the extensive work and training undertaken by partners in the Police Service of Northern Ireland, the Public Prosecution Service, the Northern Ireland Courts and Tribunal Service and right across the wider criminal justice system. And I also want to thank our voluntary sector partners for their crucial role in developing our e-learning package. This is a defining moment for our criminal justice system. This new legislation will support victims and will provide police with a clear definition on what constitutes domestic abuse with access to further tools to arrest and prosecute offenders and prevent harm. We are here to help victims of those crimes and bring their offenders to justice. As I have said many times, this is the one crime when we know who the perpetrator is. To date, over 5,000 officers and staff members have now been trained to recognise and respond to reports of coercive control and how to use the new powers they now have to safeguard children that witness any form of domestic abuse. Domestic abuse is not just physical. As of today, we are now empowered to address what has been invisible in plain sight for so long. Victims don't have to suffer in silence. We, the police service, are here for you.